Oi oi Savaloise, welcome back to another video on the old YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to ask you a question. Is your vehicle list looking as dry as dog food, like mine? Look at this, you see all these videos of, you know, I don't know, TikToks or something, of people driving Beamers and, I don't know, Lamborghinis, Bugattis, and all you've got is this lonely old car list. Well, I'm going to sort you out today. I'm going to show you how to download your own mods to do with vehicles, maps, uh, also, if you will. So, I'm going to close the game, and you want to head over to this website called bmngdrivemods.com. Now, it is recommended that you do use the official BMNG mods forum. However, I think the layout is just horrible to look at. You don't know what's going on. Everything says beta or alpha. You don't know what's actually a mod. You don't know where the vehicles are or anything. But yeah, this website I seem is alright. Um, again, if you're going to download off this site, please, please, please do a virus scan. You can never be safe. Um, I've downloaded uh, quite a few cars off this site, but please, for your own safety, um, perform your own scans and ensure that you're alright. But anyway, to download a mod, what I'm first going to go ahead and do is go to your D drive or anywhere that's got storage, right click in an empty space, go to new, go to folder, and put, name this Beam NG mods so now once you've got the beam and g mods you can close that and now all you want to do is look for a car or vehicle you want now it's not just cars you can have bloody buses you can have forklifts and diggers and dozers or you can have lorries quite a rare old thing tesla semi um you know planes army vehicles, all sorts, but I'm just going to make it plain and simple and download a car. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll download a, a Scooby. Who don't like a Scooby, eh? So you go to the search, up to the old, uh, top right, put in what you want, the, the uh, brand of the car, and as you can see, a load of Subarus have appeared. So you've got Legacies, you've got Impreza's, you've got WRX STIs, you all sorts. Now, the job here is just to choose one. The way I see it is, the more recent the date, as you can see, the date here is when this mod came out, the more recent, the better looking uh, the car and model will be, and the crash physics. So as you can see, if I compare, say, this legacy, STI Touring Wagon, to this legacy, obviously there's different models of cars, but this one looks completely better than the other one. If you go to the last page, and yeah, these are the, these are the oldest mods. You've got an Impreza WRX, it looks a bit weird. But anyway, I'm just going to select one to download, and I'm going to show you how to apply it to your game. So, I'm just going to add the blob I one here. So, all you're going to do is click on it, and then you want to scroll down. Um, it will say this mod is not tested, so please, please, please do a virus scan before you um, are unsure what you're downloading. But what you want to do is click on this orange button here, click download, and then you want to click download BMNG 2004, whatever car you're having. There's two options here, so you've got modsup.com and something else. Um, I'll just click on the second one. As you can see, it takes you to mod base. You then create a download link and then click download file. And what I'm going to do is uh, go and find my Beam and G mods. So I'm going to save it in here. As you can see, it's downloading at the top right. And what I'm going to do now is do a virus scan just to ensure. So you go up to the file, right click, scan with malware bytes just because you know you can never be sure here we go I recommend you do this for every car you install just to be safe I 
Okay, it's come back all clear, so I can use this Scooby. Here we go. So, once you've done that, what you want to do is open your Steam, go to beamng.drive, and click on Play. When the alert comes up, to launch game, manage user folder or support tools, all you want to do is go down to manage user folder. Another alert will appear, and all you want to do is go down to open in Explorer. And then it will take you to your file browser. All you want to do is go up to mods, and then repo, and then this is where all your mods will go. So what you want to do is hover over your file browser, go to your beamng mods, Hopefully you didn't close it. If you did close it, you'll have to right-click the file browser, um, click File Explorer, add, open up your BeamNG mods. So all you want to do now is simply, you don't want to extract this file from a zip. You want to keep it as a zip. You then click on it once, and then click on it again, but hold, and then drag over to the mods repo. Once you've done that, all you want to do is X out of all of these, go down to the alert, click cancel, and then launch game. So now that should hopefully install the mod. I'm going to check my vehicle list to ensure it has actually appeared. So I'm going to go to my garage and go to vehicles, scroll down, and then as you can see, it is here, missing a preview, Subaru Impreza, uh WRX STI. So you click that and then load car. Obviously it depends on the uh, effort of every mod by the creators. As you can see that one had no pictures at all of missing previews. But we'll see how it looks if I load in the garage with it. And as you can see, here it is, um, the Impreza, it's here. Now the only thing is, it says missing preview in the uh, showcase, which is a little bit annoying, as you want it to look nice and clean, but but that is, that is it, and that's how you install a vehicle mod. Now, there is no limit, whatever is on that website, you can install. Um, as you can see, I've got the Impreza. Uh, I'm going to show you it working now, so I'm going to go to Free Roam go to the highway and show you it in working order so as you can see I've just loaded in so what I'm going to do now is go to vehicles and show you the vehicle in working order as you can see I've got to show you if you do go to the mods tab it does actually appear so if it appears in there in the mod manager that means it's installed correctly however if it doesn't appear in the vehicle showroom something has gone wrong so I'll show you. And here we go. You can obviously drive it from now. And that is how you get your own vehicles in BMNG.drive. As you can see, if you go in the interior, it depends how the mod maker has made the mod. Um, it's all just a case of searching for the highest quality for what you need if you're going to be recording your own videos but this is just a preview of uh, how to install them so yeah if you found this video helpful leave a like and subscribe for more bags like this one this is spaghetti hoop signing off have a good one crash physics are a bit too flimsy i'd say as you can see i just went through a wall when it's a bit um like the car's made out of paper but yeah With that being said leave a like and subscribe for more bangs like this one have a good one